Hello, Tracy. My name is Roy Smith. I'm here to talk to you about your new high-density flow system. It's nice to meet you, Roy. I'm very excited to use the new system. There are many improvements. I like how you have front access to all your pallets. Drive-in Rack does not offer you this ability. You have 100% total pallet management with Flow Rail. You're correct. I normally have to move many pallets to get to the ones I need. And unfortunately, I do damage product because it's hard to drive into the system with such small clearances. My picking speed has increased significantly using the flow rail system. I was a very slow picker using the old drive-in racks. Why were you slow with the old drive-in racking system? Every time I tried to increase my picking speed, I would impact those green posts. They're hard to see. You must be relieved now that you don't have to drive in 45 feet to get to the last pallet because flow rail allows you to pick all 10 pallets from the front of the system. I am. As you can see, everyone's picking from this one forklift lane. There's just no privacy any longer. I noticed that you have pallets with different widths. Some are longer and probably way more. But these actually look very heavy. Well, Roy, I tell you, this new flow rail system could care less what size the pallets are. They can be longer, shorter, wider. I can even put a gap in between the pallets so that they don't touch each other. This was a big problem using our old system. But no problem, I just left them on the floor. Weight-wise, I don't know, but I'm loading 4,000 pounds right now. Well, I was told that Flow Rail can handle 3,000 pound pallets all day long with absolutely no seismic impact to the racks using the Flow Rail. I know that you wouldn't know this, but they installed this using standard frames and beams. I could offer this system to my customers who wish to use their existing racks and I could offer them some of my used ones to add to it. Tracy, pushback racks and drive-in racks are custom made and designed for one size pallet and weight of pallet. I also notice how easy it is to adjust the levels on this system. This system is interchangeable with all rack types, roll formed, structural. It doesn't require any special beam drops, no holes in the beams to attached connectors to. I find it to have a very high resale value and easily relocatable. Come to think of it, the racks look the same as the ones we have in the finished goods. Just plain racks. Hey, what's that back beam for? That's to stop the last pallet, silly. With the old drive-in system, it was so dark that I frequently hit the back wall. Talking more about darkness, I can't show you, but I've had chunks pulled out of my hair because I can't see in front of me. I even cut my arm. Just ridiculous, I tell you. Tracy, has anyone been here performing maintenance on the system? No, it's maintenance free. Actually, there are no rusting components. Look, no grease. Everything is food grade and perfect for our freezer. I love this system. Before we had the drive-in system, we were using this pushback crap rack. Nothing but problems, I tell you. Pellet jams, broken pellet issues, this getting caught on this, that getting caught on that. Just plain crap. I used to climb the racks to free up the pellets until I slipped one day. Done with that, I'll tell ya. I understand what you mean. Many facilities managers routinely express concerns with that issue. Roy, they tore out that system a long time ago because of that problem. And forklift tire wear, transmission wear. We really beat up those lifts trying to push those heavy pellets back. Oh yeah, I forgot. The shrink wrap is getting caught in the carts and tearing open the pellets. Peppers all over the floor. Roy, bruising the product was also a big time problem. This system is easier to use. It's all installed horizontally. And that's how you got the extra storage space in your freezer, by saving 24 inches of vertical space. Yes, horizontal storage is the way to go. We have eliminated product bruising by not having to push the pallet back, up an incline, and against other pallets. But also, when we remove pallets, they slam against each other. I used to be scared that the pellets would run off the carts, onto me or on the floor. There's just no control. 